Ever wondered how AI models seem to know so much? They can write poems, explain science, and even help with recipes. It's not magic, it's a clever two-step process, much like how we learn. First, AI models go through pre-training, where they absorb vast amounts of general knowledge like a student reading every book in a library. Then comes fine-tuning, where the model is trained for a specific task, similar to an apprenticeship. Pre-training builds the foundation, fine-tuning adds the finishing touches. In this video, we'll break down both steps, showing how AIs go from generalists to specialists. By the end, you'll see how these digital brains are built, and how you might use them yourself. Let's dive in and demystify the learning process behind AI. Pre-training is the first and most massive step in building an AI model. Imagine giving an AI access to a huge library, books, articles, websites, and more, so it can learn language patterns, facts, and reasoning. The model's job is to predict the next word in countless sentences, adjusting itself each time it gets it wrong. This process happens billions of times across trillions of words, requiring enormous computational power and resources. The result? A base model with broad general knowledge, like a university graduate ready for any career. It can talk about almost any topic, but it's not yet specialized. At this stage, the AI is a block of marble, full of potential but not yet sculpted for a specific purpose. Pre-training is resource-intensive, but it's what gives AI its vast, foundational understanding. The base model is knowledgeable, but unfocused, waiting to be shaped for a particular task. This is the essential groundwork that makes all further customization possible. Next, we'll see how fine-tuning transforms this generalist into a specialist. With a pre-trained base model in hand, we move to fine-tuning, the step that turns a generalist into a specialist. Instead of the whole internet, the model now learns from a small focused data set tailored to a specific task. For example, to create a customer service AI, we fine tune it on real customer queries and ideal responses. The model already knows language, now it learns the right tone, style and information for its new job. Fine tuning is much faster and cheaper than pre-training, often done in hours or days on a single computer. This process lets anyone customize powerful models for unique needs, making AI accessible to businesses and creators. The result? A model that excels at its task, whether it's answering questions, summarizing contracts, or mimicking a writing style. Fine-tuning is what makes AI truly useful in the real world. Let's compare pre-training and fine-tuning side by side. Pre-training builds a broad foundation using massive, unstructured data from across the internet. It's expensive, slow, and requires supercomputers, creating a knowledgeable but unfocused base model. Fine-tuning, in contrast, uses a small, curated data set to specialize the model for a specific task. It's fast, affordable, and can be done by individuals or small teams. Pre-training is about potential. Fine-tuning is about precision. The base model is raw material while the fine-tuned model is a finished tool, ready for real-world use. This two-step process is what makes AI both powerful and practical. Pre-training creates the engine. Fine-tuning tunes it for the race. Together, they unlock the full potential of AI. Should you ever pre-train a model from scratch? For almost everyone, the answer is no. Pre-training is costly and complex, best left to big tech companies and research labs. Most projects start with a pre-trained base model and use fine-tuning for customization. Fine-tune when you want your AI to perform a specific task, like answering questions about your products or writing in your style. Only consider pre-training if you need expertise in a niche area not covered by existing models, like rare languages or unique data types. For 99% of applications, start with a base model and fine-tune it for your needs. Think of it as customizing a finished car, not building one from scratch. To fine-tune effectively, focus on high-quality data. A small, well-crafted dataset beats a large, messy one every time. Make sure your examples clearly show the behavior you want the model to learn. Start small. Test your approach on a simple model and dataset before scaling up. Iterate and improve as you go. New techniques like LoRa let you fine-tune large models efficiently by training just a few extra layers. Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, lets your model look up information in real time instead of retraining. These methods make fine-tuning faster, cheaper, and more powerful. With the right approach you can build smarter, more capable AI systems for any task. <laughs> 